The ozone layer, or ozone shield, is a region of Earth's stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet UVB radiation. It contains high concentration of ozone O3 in relation to other parts of the atmosphere, although it is still small in relation to other gases in the stratosphere. The ozone in the Earth's stratosphere is created by ultraviolet light striking ordinary oxygen molecules containing two oxygen atoms, O2, splitting them into individual oxygen atoms, atomic oxygen. The atomic oxygen then combines with unbroken O2 to create ozone, O3. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, chemicals found mainly in spray aerosols heavily used by industrial nations for the better part of 50 years, are the primary culprits for the ozone layer breakdown. When the CFCs reach the upper atmosphere, they are exposed to ultraviolet rays, which causes them to break down into substances that include chlorine. The chlorine reacts with the oxygen atoms in the ozone and rips apart the ozone molecule. Such deterioration allows large amounts of ultraviolet B rays to reach Earth, which can cause skin cancer and cataracts in humans and large animals as well. Researchers have also documented changes in the reproductive rates of young fish, shrimps, crabs, frogs, and salamanders exposed to the excess ultraviolet. One atom of chlorine can destroy more than 100,000 ozone molecules, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The major hole was found in the 1970s in Antarctica. This region's low temperatures sped up the conversion of CFCs to chlorine. In the southern spring and summer, when the sun shines for long periods of the day, chlorine reacts with the ultraviolet rays, destroying ozone on a massive scale, up to 65%. The amount of chlorine in the atmosphere is falling now, but scientists estimate it will take another 50 years for chlorine levels to return to their natural levels. A major way to combat the issue of CFCs harming the atmosphere is to find safe substitutions to ensure production companies that use the CFCs can continue manufacturing without harm to the environment. In May 1989, the UNEP passed the Montreal Plan, which is an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances that are responsible for the ozone depletion. It is committed to finding safer alternatives as well. Due to this banning of CFCs in most countries that produce the emissions and the implementation of these safer alternatives, scientists have found that in 2016, the ozone has started to rebuild itself. As long as the emission rates are regulated and CFC continues to be banned, the ozone layer will continue to be rebuilt.